Hi, this is Chris Morrell from Inspector Pages. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of the different features that our service offers. What you're looking at right now is called the dashboard, and this is a place to get some overview information about your site, including what's going on right now. If you have Google Analytics set up, you'll get some uh, information about your, your hits and whatnot, um, form information, incoming links, etc. On the left-hand side of the page, you'll see that we have a navigation menu. In this menu, you get access to all the different features of the site. So under Dashboard, we have a few basic options. The section that you're going to use the most as a home inspector editing your home page and, and your different pages is this Pages menu. So let's go in. In here, you'll see a list of all your pages with some options and some information about each page. If you click on a page, you can edit it. From here, you have a nice what you see is what you get editor where you can add bold, italics, or link to other parts of your site. It's got a spell checker and a bunch of other features if you want to use them. If you're used to using HTML, or if someone that's tech savvy sent you a little snippet of code to add to your site, you can always switch to the HTML view and paste your code right in there. But if you're not comfortable with HTML, you can always just leave it in the visual editor and never have to worry about it. Below the editor is an SEO settings page. Now this gives you a lot of different options for search engine optimization. Most of these options are handled automatically, so this page is really only if you want to tweak those settings further. On the right are a few little panels. The publish panel lets you preview the changes that you made, update the page, or if you haven't published it yet, publish it. You can also change the parent and order of the page. This is going to change how the page is listed in different menus. If you want to add a new page, just click the Add New under the Pages menu. This gives you the exact same options except for it's to add a new page. If you've enabled the Gravity Forms plugin, which I'll discuss in a minute, you'll have a Forms menu. By default, we've set up a contact form for you. In here, it just asks for a customer's name, email address, and message. And when they fill out the form, it sends a message to you from them. You can add as many forms as you want, and the form system is very robust. It lets you add all sorts of different fields, including some advanced ones like file upload, phone number with verification, or even, even pricing fields. And once someone submitted a entry to your form, you can just hit entries and you'll see each person's response. You'll also be emailed each of those responses. Now, Inspector Pages is built from the ground up to support blogging because we believe that blogging is an important strategy for site owners. A lot of research has shown that websites that have blogs perform much better in search engines. So we really think that you should, you should make an effort to post things to your site from time to time. The news and blog section is much like the pages section in that you can list all your posts, you can add new posts, you can manage the categories of your posts and add tags, and you, you can also manage comments. If you want to allow comments, you can have people post co comments on each of your blog posts. The next option is SEO, and in here we have a really, really robust system. Our SEO tools are a whole video in and of themselves. But briefly, we have a 404 monitor, which basically tells you if people are trying to go to pages on your site that don't exist. And if they are, you know you might want to create those pages so that you get that traffic. You've got a code inserter, which lets you insert special types of code. Um, competitive researcher lets you research keywords. Our deep link juggernaut lets you automatically add links throughout your site to improve your search rankings. And there are just too many tools to go over, but 
Each tool has an overview tab, which explains exactly what it does, as well as a few other tabs, including troubleshooting and settings that really explain all the different features. So when you're ready, just hop in the SEO section and go through some of these help sections because they're really going to explain a lot to you. Inspector Pages comes with over a hundred different themes and you can get to that section by going to site design and then to themes. You can see each theme has a nice little um, thumbnail that you can use and you can scroll, scroll through the different pages of themes to choose one that you really like. Most themes have a theme options page with custom options specific to that theme. So depending on the theme you choose, the different options under site design are going to be different, but they'll let you change things like your tagline and maybe the header image. So you can insert your logo or a picture of yourself. All themes also support what we call sidebars, where you can drag special little widgets to your sidebar. An example of this would be, we've de designed a widget called InterNACHI Links. And what this does is adds a list of different links that, that are specific to InterNACHI members to your sidebar. There's also a widget called Pages, which just lists all the pages in your site. So let's add those two to the main sidebar. And now I'm going to open the site in a new tab. And you can see, here's the Pages widget. It just lists all the different pages on our site. And then here's the Links widget, which lists the different links that we've chosen for you. Now, if I go back into Widgets, I can take the InterNACHI links, just drag that up and put that above the pages. And now when I go and refresh this page, you'll see that the links are above the pages. There are a bunch of different widgets to choose from and a bunch of different options for each widget. So really take some time to play around with these options. There's also a whole menu editor. And in here you can add special menus, um, which gives you much more control over the order and the, the way the menus work. Again, this is a pretty advanced feature. So I'm going to leave this for now and just let you know it exists and we'll cover it in another video. Each site has a number of different settings. When you're first getting started, you might want to go into privacy and change your site visibility to blocking search engines. This means that search engines won't find your site, but while you're working on it, sometimes that's good. And then when you're ready for the world to see it, just switch it back to visible to everyone. Under general settings, you'll be able to change the title of your site, your tagline, change your email address, the time zone that you're in, and a few different blogging settings. If you have Google Analytics enabled, you'll be able to set up uh, tracking and a bunch of different advanced features if you'd like. The site avatar lets you ch add a picture of yourself to the sidebar or to different portions of your page. The domain name settings lets you add a custom domain name to your site, which you can use instead of the .inspectorpages.com site. And under profile, you can change uh, how your name is displayed, what your email address is, an avatar for your own personal use, etc. Inspector Pages comes with a number of different plugins. These plugins are features that aren't necessarily enabled by default, but give you additional features. The three that we have on right now are the Google Analytics plugin, the Gravity Forms plugin, and Redirection plugin. Each of these adds an, its own number of different features. For example, the Google Analytics plugin lets you track via Google Analytics and shows you some graphs. The Gravity Forms plugin is what gives us the full form editor. And redirection is if you need to move some stuff around, but you want people to still be able to get to your pages from the old URLs. Finally, if you have multiple inspectors working for your company, you can add different users to your account so that your other inspectors can access the site. And you can change the permissions on each one of those accounts 
so that they can only do certain things. This again is a pretty advanced feature and only for multi-inspector firms, so I'm gonna not go into too much detail. Along the top, you'll see we have this admin bar. And this just gives you quick access to different parts of your site. Um, and you can access it both from the front and the back. It gives you an easy way to edit the current page that you're on or add new pages, etc. So that's a quick overview of inspector pages. This is our brand new version, version 3.2. And we hope you really enjoy it. I'm going to be posting new videos in the future, so look for those. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to go to inspectorpages.com and click the Contact Us button in the top right-hand corner. All right, enjoy.